If you were at the San Antonio International Airport today and you had a scheduled flight, you know there have been dozens of cancellations and delays, a lot of which came from or were headed to Dallas. Max Massey joins us live from San Antonio International. So, Max, how are things looking out there now? Well, I got to tell you guys, it is calm and quiet here now. You look at this, everything's running smoothly, but I want to show you what we've been looking at throughout the day. Follow me here. Look at the big board. A lot of cancellations listed on arrivals and departures. And if you look to the section just left of where it reads canceled, you're going to see Dallas DFW or you're going to see Dallas Love. Now, I talked to a lot of families who have been at the airport throughout the day and they're frustrated trying to figure out what to do next. There have been people running around the airport looking to book alternative routes to their final destination. Others who have just rented cars trying to drive to not only their destination, but possibly other airports around Texas. I talked to people from Enterprise Rental Service. They tell me that since just this afternoon, they saw a big jump in people spontaneously coming to their desk and booking whatever car they can get. I did sit down with one traveler who told me that he actually strategized around any possible delays. I noticed everything was getting canceled going into and out of Dallas, which is where I'm supposed to fly out of tonight. So I rescheduled to go from here to Houston, head south, and then home. <laughs> Now, Karn Gustafson tells me he rerouted his flight from having to go through Dallas, going to Houston. That way he didn't have to deal with any possible obstacles. The airport tells me that if you have any travel plans, make sure to check your flight before you leave. Obviously, try to get here at least two hours before. And speaking to the airport, they sent us all of the specific information when it came to cancellations and delays. And guys, we're going to have that for you coming up at 6 o'clock. Back to you. Yeah, our weather's been causing headaches for families at airports across the state, especially true here in San Antonio, primarily because of what's happening in Dallas. Max Massey joins us live from San Antonio International Airport. Max, I notice you're near the rental car center, very popular place. That's right, guys. It is an especially popular place this evening. That's because a lot of families who had flights either going to Dallas directly or using Dallas as a transfer, those flights were canceled, so of course they ran up here trying to rent cars to maybe not even go to their final destination, but also hearing about families driving to other airports across the state. And take a look around. We have lots of lines. Now, I sat down with a traveler here at the San Antonio International Airport, and he actually strategized around the Dallas cancellations and delays just so he didn't have to deal with anything like this from here to Houston to Albuquerque. Meet Karn Gustafson, one of the thousands of people traveling through San Antonio International Airport today. But Karn took some extra precautions in his travel plans. I noticed everything was getting canceled going into and out of Dallas, which is where I'm supposed to fly out of tonight. So I rescheduled to go from here to Houston, head south, and then home. <laughs> now we've seen and we've talked to families throughout the airport. They spent their day trying to figure out what comes next after numerous flights to and from Dallas were canceled. I did not see that mine had been canceled yet because it wasn't supposed to leave San Antonio until 745 tonight. But I figured the later it gets, the colder it's liable to get and the more likely even more is supposed to be canceled. The airport shared these numbers with me. As of 2 p.m., 32 cancellations from departures out of San Antonio, 50 delayed flights, and that average delay came out to about 16 minutes. There's also been 32 cancellations on expected arrivals and 11 delayed flights with an average delay time of about five minutes. As for Karn, he does have some advice for any travelers for the rest of the day or the next time we have a situation like this. You can reschedule and fly, go south instead of north, you're probably better off. And guys, speaking of that 2 p.m. number, that's kind of the line of demarcation around here. I talked to someone from Enterprise earlier today. They said after 2 p.m., they saw a huge influx of people running to their area trying to rent a car. And they said a popular trend was families renting a car and then trying to drive to Austin to fly to their final destination from the Austin airport. Guys, back to you.